Drug dealing mum locked up, kid put into care. Leave her out of this. She'd be a teenager by the time you got out, wouldn't even know you. She'd be with her new mum. You can't do this. I'm a police officer, sweetheart. I think you'll find I can pretty much do anything I want. Now you do what I'm telling you, or your brat will be in a foster home in time for a tea. Washington's here, family crest. Mm, the topping family. We need an exact match. By tomorrow, you see. Can it be done? It's not easy. You have to get the stone right. The shape, the clarity, and the way the light dances off. Hmm. That's odd. Something wrong. Not at all. But you might want to rethink a replica. Why? Because if this is what I think it is, a replica won't stand up to any serious scrutiny. It's fine with the naked eye, but if she gets it authenticated... What? What is it, Bob? Cushion cut, 20 carat, azure stone. If I'm not mistaken, we are looking at a 150-year-old cashmere sapphire. Well, that sounds expensive. It's hard to tell from a snap, but if this is the real thing, it could be 20 to 30 grand. As I said, it won't stand up to close scrutiny, but I'll get you the replica by tomorrow, all right? Cheers. Get your grubby mitts off my threads now. Two o'clock back to your caravan, there's a dear. Get me another bottle. She's stolen my wallet! Stop that girl! Oh, what? Police. What are you talking about? Hey. I ain't done nothing! Listen, hey, what's going on here? City of London police, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> this geezer is sexually harassing me. I wouldn't touch you with a jackhammer, love. Now, both of you calm down, sir. Why don't you just begin by explaining to me what's happened? This grotty little chav stole my wallet. Do you want to smack cheese breath? I want her to turn out her pockets right now. I want my money, but I want you to calm down. I'm not going to warn you again, sir. Do as he says. Into your pockets. It's not there. Well, are you sure it's missing, sir? Yes, I keep it inside my jacket. Why don't you take your other pockets? I don't see why. I don't keep... I think you owe this young lady an apology, don't you? I'm sure she... Oh, come on, then. Apologise. Sir? I'm most terribly sorry. Yeah, well, up yours, creep. No, but seriously, did you see that guy's face? When I accused him of sexually harassing me, I thought he was going to puke. <laughs> what happened to you? Cat Farmer used to be the best in the business. He used to be able to steal anything, and he got caught nicking a wallet. Come on, girl. Who says I wanted his wallet? Oh, nice. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd see you again. Why's that? Well, you're in this fancy new crew now. I'm still nicking watches. I moved on, but I haven't changed. I'll never forget what you did for me. Yeah, well, I ain't the grass. I know. I was worried about you in there. Ah, oh, it weren't that bad. Regular meals every day, roof over my head. It's good that you're worried, though. You ain't done so bad for yourself, have you? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little girl now. What? <laughs> yeah, she'll be three next month. I can't believe you're a mum. Dad's a bit of a waste of space, though. I ain't seen him in two years. Sorry to hear that. Don't be. Like I said, he's a waste of space. Look, Sean, now you're all sorted, I can really use a leg up. Huh? Well, there must be some little job I can do in that fancy crew of yours. Sweep up, make the tea, stand there and look pretty. <sighs> Kat, it's not really... Because that... I'll get Mum to look after Laura for a bit. The truth is, Sean, I'm really skint. Oh, what? No, I don't want your charity. You know me better than that. I want to work for it. Ash sent these over from the printers. These are fake title deeds to a 30-acre pile in Northumberland. Great. And documents showing all the debts still owed to the estate. That's fantastic. Hey, guys, if we could... <clears throat> Sean, what the hell? I see you brought company. All right. I'm Kat. Like your gaff. This is all from grifting, then. All right, Ems. 
Long time no see. Cat. Wow, look at you all glammed up. Look, she's an old friend, OK? I said she could help out with a job. She used to hang around with me and Emma back in the day. She just needs a leg up, that's all. It's one job and I'll pay her for my share. Are you serious? I mean, I'm sorry, look, this, this is nothing personal. No, I can vouch for her and so can Emma. Yeah, that aside, I owe her. She kept me from going to prison. That was a long time ago, Sean. That's why I said. It makes no difference. OK, I was 15 years old and she could have seriously reduced her sentence if she'd have grasped me up, but she didn't. OK, you two of all people should respect that. I mean, how many of your old friends have turned up and we've taken care of every single one of them? <clears throat> well, the kid's got a point. Emma? Oh, she's a train crash. She's all right. OK. We'll work her into the con. Looks like she's in, Gov. All right. Stay on it. OK, so tomorrow, Emma goes to see Linda and reveals the news about the debts owed on the estate. But before she starts asking questions, show her the bracelet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there uh, might be an issue with that. An issue? Well, CD Bob says the sapphire in the bracelet might be a rare cashmere sapphire and very hard for Bob to forge. So if she gets it authenticated... Yeah, they'll spot it. What if we do a switch? What, swap Linda's bracelet for C.D. Bob's replica? Yeah. So she gets her own bracelet authenticated. What if she compares the two? No, no, apparently the replica will look exactly the same to the naked eye. It's only if she gets it examined by an expert that there's a problem. Even if that's true, it's still a tricky manoeuvre. Not for Kat. She could easily swap the fake bracelet for the real one. <laughs> but seriously, guys, it makes perfect sense. It's what she specialises in. She could do that switch with her hands tied behind her back. Well, it is what I do. Cat can go along as Emma's assistant, Emma can distract Linda, and Cat can move in for the kill. You know, that makes sense. Lovely morning. It was. Uh, that was me thinking this was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Yeah, well, think again. So what have you got for me? They're conning some bird. Linda Runcorn, inheritance scam and all that. Tell me something I don't know. You've got this fake bracelet that proves it's legit or something. Except there's a snag. I think that the sapphire in the bracelet might be from Kashmir. Could be worth a few quid. Maybe more than a few quid. So they're worried this Linda might get it valued? Yes. You want me to help Emma do the switch? I nick the real one and put the fake one back on her wrist. So Runcorn gets her own value, thinks the whole thing's kosher. All right, do what they want for now. Keep reporting back to me. And one other thing. I want you to slip this in Emma Kennedy's case. No way! They've been all right by me so far. I'm not doing that! OK, then no. Well, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. I mean, if you don't feel like it... I've done what you asked! Yes, we're not finished, are we? I make one call to social services, tell them you've been arrested for dealing in Class A drugs, they pick your kid up within the hour. You want me off your back, then do as you're told. At the end of this, you'll never have to set eyes on me again. Here are the deeds to your aunt's estate, and here's a picture of the house in Northumberland. It's a nice gaff. Yes, thank you, Miss Hunter. Um, I've just got to tell you about a slight problem before we continue. Problem? Well, as you can see from the house head, it's, it's a couple of centuries old, and a few years ago it started suffering from subsidence. Nasty. My nan had that. Yes. Your great aunt Irene, um, she had to get builders in, and uh, apparently now they're claiming that they haven't been fully paid. Can I, uh, get some water? Hmm? <coughs> Glass of water? Not being funny, but it feels like a family of badgers just moved in. <coughs> how much are they owed? Sorry? These builders, how much are they owed? Um, yes, uh, a hundred thousand. A hundred grand for subsidence? Well, it is a massive house. And very old. And as the builders are threatening court action, they will need to be paid before the transaction can be completed. Why? Sorry? I mean, why before? Can't the debts be absorbed by the estate? Oh, well, well it, it could be, I suppose, but 
time is of the essence. The builders are threatening to force the estate into administration over these unpaid bills. I mean, you can't imagine how complicated that would make things. The legal fees alone would treble what you owe the builders, and it could mean that you wouldn't see your inheritance for f five years. I see. And you're sure it's my aunt? So am I sure? But I'm not going to suddenly find there's been a mix-up. Not if I've done my job properly, no. <clears throat> well, I don't remember having a great Aunt Irene. And I don't want to fork out a hundred grand and then find out I'm paying somebody else's bloody bills. No, I, I am quite sure that it is your aunt. Actually, one of the items that she left was a, a sapphire bracelet, very much like the one you're wearing. A bracelet? Have you got it? Yes. Show me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just somewhere down here. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. Oh, I'm always doing this. My mum says I could start World War III. I'm so accident prone. It's fine. I can manage. Miss Hunter, why don't you give Miss Runcorn the bracelet now? And it certainly looks authentic. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it has the crest and everything. I'll have to get it authenticated. But if it's all about board, I'll sign the papers and pay the debts. That's great. Great. You won't regret it. You said we have to move quickly. Yes. How quickly? Well, it would help if you paid the debts in cash. Cash? I'm not they sure. They are builders. <laughs> well, if it'll oil the wheels a little, then, um, so be it. Great. Great. That was good work. Thank you. Leg it. Leg it. Cat! Can I help you, officer? Oi! Gov. Put in the car. Right. That's Come not on, right. Miss. That's not right. I, I can walk there myself. I don't know what happened. They just came out of nowhere. How does she get drugs on the cat? Emma doesn't even do drugs. They weren't mine, if that's what you're asking. Look, I went with her. I did what you asked me to do. And then we went outside and they Cat's just... right. It's not her fault. Something else must be going on. Yeah, well, the cops must have planted the gear on Emma. I'm so sorry, Sean. She's at the Barber Street Station. She was arrested by Detective Inspector Fisk. Sid Fisk? What you know? Yeah, he's bent as a nine-bob note. This is how he operates. He frames people, then bangs them up. Well, it's ridiculous. What does Fisk want with Emma? This can't just be about Emma. It's about all of us. I'm going to see her. On my own. Meet me at Edison in an hour. Excuse me, Roger Wiles, senior partner, Wiles, Clark and Foster. I'm representing Emma Kennedy. And if I am delayed from seeing my client in any way whatsoever, there'll be a serious complaint made to the IPCC. Can you take this gentleman down to cell four, please? Thank you. Fisk. Sir, Stone's come to see her. Kennedy, Roger Wilde's your solicitor. Yeah, of course. I have no idea what's going on. All right. It doesn't make any sense. 
It's not okay. It's okay. We're working out. How sure? It's okay. Except he wants to drive a JCB into the building. It's <laughs> a good plan. Needs fine tuning. Yep. I'll get you out of here. Okay? I'll think of something. 